Hey everyone, this is Mike with Play More Games, and today uh, we have a brand new unboxing. Kyo wa kaikon on shimasho. So today we have um, Help Arrives from Draco Ideas. This is their latest in the Warstorm series of war games, uh, which is a tactical level system. Uh, some of them, I think. A bunch of them have been published by Compass Games, um, but this is the most recent title. Uh, it was up on Kickstarter last year. I just got it in the mail today. Uh, so the game design designer is Nicholas Escubi, uh, game developer Javier Romero, and uh, Mr. Escubi also did the art. Um, so let's take a quick look here, um, and if you're not familiar, uh, Help Arrives uh, is set during the uh, uh, Spanish Civil War, um, which, uh, uh, from my point of view, uh, is often overshadowed by, um, you know, the events of 39 and onward. Um, but it's a really important uh, part of European history, of course, especially Spanish history. And, um, you know, we've got the nationalistic shade, and the Republican shade here, um, so it's very easy to think about how things might have been uh, different. Um, okay, so I'm going to pause it here, uh, I'm going to unwrap it, and then we'll take a look at what's inside. Alright, so I've got the nice shiny shrink wrap off it, and we're going to take a look at the components in just a second. Uh, so just a little bit of background about the game. Um, it's platoon level combat. Um, each turn represents about 12 to 15 minutes. I think it's like 150 to 200 yards per hex. Um, there are individual scenarios, and there are also campaign scenarios that cover like the Battle of Madrid, um, campaign for Guadalajara, the Ebro, uh, I think there's maybe one or two others. Um, or you can do the individual scenarios. Um, the rule book is supposed to slowly introduce concepts. So like other... Uh, games maybe you've seen, um, I think most recently, uh, Absolute War starts with a basic rule set, uh, standard and then advanced. Um, still waiting to, to bring that to, to you guys, um, and I will, uh, I promise. Uh, I'll get back into it, I promise. Um, so you can pick up and start playing. I think GMT's uh, What's their new tactical World War II? Uh, last 100 yards. Uh, I think that does something similar. And a lot of tactical systems will do that. You know, you'll have scenarios without vehicle combat and things like that, and you hide it. Or, you know, you just have infantry, infantry and you hide, like, special weapon sections. Uh, so here we have a series exclusive uh, rule book. Uh, it's pretty short, um, which is always nice. So it's going to be really nice for uh, people that maybe have played some of the other titles. Uh, they have rules to design your own scenarios, which is always really cool. Uh, this looks like a yeah solo mode uh, rules. Uh, so I don't know if like you really need like see these are like point costs. Uh, for specific se sections and segments. Um, that uh, seems very interesting. Alright, uh, so here's the rule book. Uh, it's glossy paper. It's pretty pretty long. Uh, about 46 standard pages. Um, type font is on the smaller side, but as you can see there are lots of full color examples, pictures, things like that. Um, this is rule set 2.1. Um, so let's take a look, couple of look at some of the map boards here. This is nice cardstock, uh, folds out, and I think with just a little bit of plexi. Honestly, if you held this down, I think for long enough, it would uh, stay flat on its own. Um, so we have one map board. This one looks like you have some elevated terrain here. Uh, forest, three, four, 
there was a map board that was included outside of the box. I'm not sure what the story is with that and an extra counter sheet. Uh, here we have some vehicles. Um, these look like Republican units for the most part. Machine gun sections. Uh, you have some leaders. You have some red counters. That's probably going to be your Soviets, your international volunteers. Um, over here you have nationalist units, the dark blue I believe. Um, and you have some gray, so Italian, so probably like Condor Legion. Um, Italian Volunteer Squad. Um, okay, so this looks like... Uh, these look like overlays, but they're not like quite stickers or anything like that, so I wonder if maybe you have to kind of like cut them out. Um, Here's another map piece with a nice uh, river. All right. Let's see. So we have morale chart. I think uh, each side, one side is English, one side is in Espanol for the that chart. Um, you have penetration chart. You have combat tables. Uh, you have. It looks like uh, tables for random events. And over here you have scenario cards. So there looks to be uh, maybe 17 scenarios, which is kind of a lot. Uh, you have some nice artwork here. Let's see if there's anything in the bottom of the box here. Uh, nope. So, let's uh, throw this back in the box here. Okay, so that's Help Arrives. Um, I am looking forward to giving it a try because uh, I don't have too many tactical systems. Um, I have GTS. Uh, if you're familiar with my channel, maybe you've seen some of my playthroughs for that. I have GTS. I have Last 100 Yards, which I have not, not honestly given a real try. Um, I have Conflict of Heroes from Academy Games. I like that one quite a bit. Uh, but that's about it for World War II Tactical. Uh, so I am excited to give this a try. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, stay tuned for more com uh, content coming for... If you heard that, uh, that was Franco. Uh, and Franco is not having a good time. Let's see if we can take a look at Franco. What's wrong? Maybe uh, maybe the Axis powers were a little light on lending material. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more content, and uh, I hope you have a, a wonderful day. Once again, this is Mike with Play More Games. We'll catch you later. Matane.